Hey everyone, uh, today what I'd like to show you is a little trick uh, for managing materials uh, when you want to carry a whole bunch of materials with you, almost like a library that you can just import into any project and then have all of your materials available. <clears throat> so traditionally this can be kind of complicated, uh, but luckily with Omniverse it's actually very easy and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So as you can see here I have this USD file called uh, MMMAT library to stand for Marble Madness Material Library, right? And this is going to be my library for my whole game and I want to have all my materials listed in here, okay? And as you can see inside this, inside this USD file I don't have any models. Uh, I could actually put some and I can show you some tricks about that too, but for now I just want you to focus on, on the materials. So what I've got is a whole bunch of materials and they're all just listed here in this USD file. Now, how I create them is simple. I just go to my uh, preferred material of choice. So in this case, I'm going to go template staging and I'm going to grab my PK RMA EM simple, but this would work with any material. It doesn't matter. Okay. And I'm just going to drop it in. And as you can see, now I've got a new material in my scene. It's under the looks scene, right? And now I can go ahead and rename this. I can call this uh, example material, right? And now with my example material, I can um, go ahead and start filling it in. So let me grab my textures. So I'll just use some of the ones that I have currently. So let me go back to my pkind folder into Marble Madness and into textures. Okay, so here I'll just grab the blower materials since I haven't done these yet. And actually I'll rename this to blower material. Okay, so now I've got the blower material and I want to grab it and I'm just going to start populating it now. So I'm going to go RMA and my color map and my normal map. There we go. And now everything has been populated in here. So if I go file and save so now I've added a new material to this library and you would, all these materials were created identically. They were all created the same way. Okay. And now all I have to do is uh, open up a scene. So let me go ahead and find one. So I'm going to navigate to my P kind folder and then to simple cube. And I'm just going to open up my simple cube USD. Now, as you can see, it has a bunch of materials here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this whole looks folder. Boop. Goodbye. And now I'm going to import my material list. Okay, so let me just find my materials. So Marble Madness, Textures, grab my material library and drag it in. Now as you can see, I automatically get all those materials I created, including the one we just made called Blower Material. So if I just grab my Fong, I can rename that to Walls. And I'm just going to grab my Walls and put the Wall material on it. So wall plane, and as you can see, they populated right here. So these were all the materials that we just imported. Okay, so now I've got my wall on there, and now I'm going to rename this one to the top. And I'm going to select a different material. So I'll grab, I don't know, uh, floor parallel edges, whatever. It doesn't really matter. But as you can see, I've now got my materials loaded correctly, and I did it all from a simple library. So I could bring this into any scene, and all my scenes would then have access to the same materials. And what's really cool is because this is now referenced, if we add new materials to this list, they'll automatically populate. Okay, so we can edit, manage, and manipulate all of our materials just from this M M Mat library USD, and then anything that's referencing it will get updated. All right, so uh, super cool stuff, and uh, hopefully that gives you some insight on how to handle materials in a library format inside of OmniKit. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.